treats. Can you see how little these are? I have a handful of them. Little treats. And I'm starting at 16, and this is Glory. I'm going to put it at 20 now. I started at 16. And I should click if the bar stays up. <laughs> Now 24. See her trying to sneak underneath, but that's not going to get her the treat. She's got to go over. And I just waited her out. Can you see the cat? <laughs> Good girl. Here's 26. Okay, now I'm going to get Bretta. That was Glory, the younger one. Okay, this is going to be Bretta, and she's the older dog, and I don't know if it looks any different with her or not. 16, I'm starting 16, just to stretch him and get him used to. as much. Good girl. It's okay. And I should ignore the bad stuff and I keep saying good girl because I'm not good about that. Good girl. So she doesn't pick up her stuff. She hasn't played this game from the beginning like uh, Glory has. She doesn't get the click, she doesn't get the treat. Okay, I had neighbors come over. <laughs> so now we're going to keep going 24 inches with Brenda. <laughs> come on, right here. That's how you get them back over the top. And 
and she confuses it with targeting her nose. Do you see how she tries to do nose touches? This is the size of the treat. I didn't really show you before. And this is the handful of treats that I have. And this is Glory I have with the perch work. And she's better at this too, because I started when she was younger, not with Bretta. See, so no nose touches, confusing everything. I'm just clicking for her, going around. See, she has no fear. This is why it's good, like, to teeter the motion. So even though it's a little, okay. In both directions, you want them to do both directions. This is for rear end awareness. <laughs> so, okay. 